Welcome back to our Autumn's Festive Kitchen. And I think it's safe to say that we all associate homemade cookies with Christmas. So I have a very simple recipe that can be used for umpteen different recipes. The first thing we do is into a mixing bowl, we put 300 grams, that's 11 ounces of butter. Now, very important that the butter is at room temperature. Now, just soften up the butter before we're going to add the sugar in a moment. And before I add the sugar, I like to scrape down the sides of my bowl. And this is very important, whether you're using a freestanding mixer or a three-speed hand mixer as I'm using today. Now, to that, we're going to add our, again, another um, 300 grams, 11 ounces of our light golden brown sugar. So we just cream the butter and sugar together. Next to that, we're going to add our two eggs, which I've just lightly beaten. And again, either large or medium, not extra large and not small. So we put the two eggs in, and to that I'm going to add my teaspoonful of vanilla extract. And a teaspoonful is about two capfuls. So just about two capfuls. You could replace the um, extract with lemon rind, orange rind, pinch of cinnamon, lots of variations. You'd be glad to hear we're nearly finished with the mixer. And um, now I'm going to add the flour. Now there is quite an amount of flour in this. We're using uh, 600 grams, which is one pound six ounces of our cream plain flour. So we don't want the biscuits to rise up and then sink down. That can happen if you overbeat or, in, or use self-raising flour for making cookies. So now we just start with a low speed and you end up with quite a thick dough. Mix in the remaining flour. And generally, to be honest, I actually use my hands when I get to this stage. We're going to leave that aside for a moment. In with your hands. And you'll see in next to no time, your mixing bowl will be left practically clean. So you'll bring down all the dough from around the sides. And there we have our cookie dough. Very simple couldn't be easier. Now you cover that, as I say, and leave it aside. And in fact, I have some in the fridge just now, ready for use. So here we have our board. We're going to lightly dust it with some flour. We're going to bake them on that plain flat baking sheet there, which I have just lightly greased. Now this is a half quantity, so I'm not going to bore you watching me rolling and re-rolling pastry. We'll just roll that round on the flour, then take your rolling pin, now roll it out quite thinly because it does, with that beating, increase in size. So I'm just going to cut out a few of them here. And it is important that you space them well on the tray. Now they won't spread all that much, but they may spread a bit. So we have a Christmas tree here, just to show you the variety of what you can do with these cutters. Now we go gingerbread men. Now as I said, only about 10 minutes, 12 at the most, in the preheated oven, 180, 350, gas mark 4. Not up towards the top of the oven, but in the centre. Hot air rises, the top part is the hottest. If this is too hot, if the oven is too hot, these will get dark before they actually bake through. So central position in the oven. Now, when you take them from the oven, you leave them sit in the tin, for a few minutes just to set. Don't try to take them off immediately because if you do, they're going to break on you. And then as quickly as possible after that, transfer them to the wire tray to cool. It's important that you keep an eye on them and once they've gone completely cold, you then put them into an airtight container to keep them fresh. So here we have just a few that I've done already. Now there are umpteen different ways you can finish these off. We'll just take one of these here, a star, and I have some instant royal icing here, simply made by beating the um, instant royal icing with some cold water. And then decorate. So a very, very simple recipe, but very effective. Enjoy.